Hello team, I hope you're all well. Today is Sunday, the first Sunday of Final Book Support Group. Um, so we've been going since Monday. However, I woke up this morning, I was already planning on doing like a bit of a self-care vlog today, but I woke up this morning feeling very blur. Uh, it's not physical illness, it is mental. Um, I don't feel great today mentally, I feel very low. Um, I'm on like day three of being on my own. I haven't left the house since like Thursday. So um, I aim to take myself out today on a little bit of a date. I'm gonna go and take myself for some food because honestly, I fucking love food. Um, but I thought that we could turn this into a bit of a self-care self self vlog. Uh, there are a couple of things happening this evening that are like perfect self-care things for me. One of them is I'm watching Thor The Dark World with my patrons this evening at six o'clock. And then at half past eight, the Miami Grand Prix starts. So two of those things are two of my favorite things to do. First of all, watch movies. Second of all, watch Marvel movies. Third of all, watch them with my patrons. Uh, so all wrapped into one, amazing. Second, the Grand Prix, F1. Um, so I have two very good self-care things happening there for me this evening, but I needed to do something with the rest of my day. It's currently, quarter to 12 in the afternoon i have been awake since 10 o'clock uh, and i've just been laying in bed that whole time because i've been feeling shit so i thought i would drag myself out of bed and i thought what we could do seeing as y'all enjoyed this so much when i did it for my tbr and i enjoyed the process as well and i thought it might be a fun thing to do and it might just perk me up for the day i'm gonna pull from my prism oracle deck i'm gonna pull three cards the first one is actually going to be my card for the day. I'm hoping it's a good card to set me up for the day. Otherwise, this could be a disaster. Um, I do have some books in mind that I would like to read today, but we'll see whether or not I actually get a chance to do that based on the cards. Uh, but we're going to pull the first card for the day. So this is the card for the day. This is Steph's card for the day. Please be kind to me. Pretty, pretty, please. Okay, this is the card. And it's a good card, you know? Hang on. Oh shit, just casually throwing my cards everywhere. So this is the card for the day, Strength, which is a good card. If you would like to know the meaning of this card from the Oracle book, I obviously have my own perceptions of this card. Uh, but if you would like to know the meaning of the card, in, just in case uh, I don't know who's watching you might want to know the meaning um, this card refers to mental and emotional strength me today not just physical strength it's about finding the inner strength to face your fears overcome obstacles and move through difficult times this card is a call to dig deep in yourself and tap into the parts that are strong and courageous even when you might find, not feel that way you'll discover that you hold strength to overcome whatever you are going through right now. Uh, this is very, very apt card for the day. Let's face it, I am having a shit day <laughs> mentally. I'm not feeling very strong. Um, I, I am glad I've got out of bed. That in itself was a feat. I've actually put real pants on today. I have jeans on, would you like to see? jeans on um i put my dinosaur jumper on because i was feeling like a child that i wanted to wear my dinosaur jumper so uh, strength that's the first card for the day uh let's find out what the other two cards are going to be for today and then put a plan in place for the day shall we said during my TBR game that I shouldn't look while I'm shuffling because I have played card games all my life and I'm reasonably okay at shuffling. I don't drop cards very often, she says. That doesn't count. <laughs> Come on. Okay, that flipped over in the deck balance we'll delve into that in a second let's get the third card for the day
There's another card flipped in the deck. Okay, let's do this one. Faith, I pulled this card during my uh, TBR as well. Um, okay, so balance and faith. Let's find out what the book says about these two. Balance. This card refers to the need to look at areas in your life that may need a little balancing. For example, sometimes outside sources can demand our full attention and allow a little time for ourselves. How can you allow for more balance in your life and what do you need to achieve it? Um, I need to go outdoors. <laughs> uh, I do need to do that. I need to eat better as well, but I'm going to take myself out for some food and uh, indulge. I'm not going to be picky about what I'm going to eat. Uh, faith, this card isn't really about belief in a higher power, although if that's part of your practice, you are welcome to infuse it here. It's not part of my practice. So again, during my TBR, again, I did mention that that's not the way that I perceive this card. Uh, it's more about trusting that no matter what, things will be okay. You know, this whole thing today is a vibe. Um, things are moving and shifting all the time, so just keep working towards your goal, whatever it may be, and know that the outcome will lead you to exactly where you need to be. Um, what is happening right now? <laughs> the cards really went, okay, we hear you, you're having a bad day, let's go. <laughs> Hold my drink. Um, okay, uh, in relation to reading, I don't know what I can do with this as far as what I wanted to read is concerned. team snapchat um okay so a strength and faith i feel like are playing into um me actually believing that i can sort myself out today <laughs> uh, i do think i can i don't think i will be on top of the world tomorrow but i do think that i can help myself i think one of the biggest issues that i'm having right now is that i have been on my own for the last three days i haven't left the house for two days um and i am not to be a sap but I am missing uh, Andy so <laughs> uh, yeah there is that he's working incredibly hard to get extra money for the holiday so he's doing all the extra shifts that he can possibly get which means that I haven't seen him in a hot minute so I am um, there's that going on a little bit but I have faith that I can kind of turn this around a little bit and perk myself up for the rest of the day uh, balance I am gonna go and take myself outside I need to do that I need to go and get some fresh air I'm gonna go get some food first and then go for a walk and kind of walk it off if you like because I am I'm not gonna indulge ridiculously but if I want a burger I'm gonna get a burger rather than salad um and if they've got nice desserts and I can fit one in, I'm going to get one. So that's what I'm going to do for that. As far as reading is concerned, though, this is does not play. Although I'm currently reading Rider by Amanda McKinney. And that is red, I think, if I remember correctly, the cover. However, what I kind of wanted to pick up today and binge, if I had the time, I don't know where I thought I was going to get the time to do this, but um, is Heartstopper again. I've already read these. I've read the first two twice. Uh, I've read the other two once. Um, but I was uh, thinking about binging these today. The first two are the Fairy Loot Hardbacks. So, um, yeah, I don't know how strength... I mean, strength kicks in with, you know, Charlie and also Nick coming to terms with what they're both coming to terms with in their different ways, you know? Um faith that everything's going to be okay with these two I, I could make it work you know what we're just going to go with the flow i'm going to see how i feel when i get back from food if i want to carry on reading rider which is the final book in a series um so i could do with doing that really but that also could lean into next week um that i may do that but otherwise um heart stopper <laughs> because i just feel like i want to pick it up uh jade binged the whole series the other night she watched it all and then read them all back to back uh in one evening and i was like you know what i'm jealous and i kind of want to pick them all up again so i have watched the series loved it i just want to binge the books again so i think i might do that this evening i feel like that would really perk me up because you know sappy and cutesy and all that good stuff um so yeah i'm gonna go and get some lunch i'm gonna take you with me and then we're going to go for a walk. I hope that this works out okay today. <laughs> We've got to have faith. Because you've got to have faith, the faith, the faith. Do I carry these around with me today to help me remember what I'm doing with my life? Um, I am thinking that I will probably take my Kindle with me for lunch. 
um, and I can read some of this. I might take Heart Stopper Volume 1 as well, but I feel like that's a maybe not a little bit more awkward, but you know, a little bit more cumbersome to be holding in a restaurant rather than this. I say in a restaurant, I'm going to go to a pub. Um, but I'm going to take them with me anyway so I can do some reading while waiting for my food. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. So let's go. so it's like two hours further on than I was last time I spoke to you that's Andy <laughs> um but I thought we'll come and give you an update because I had a really lovely lunch I had mac and cheese I didn't realize it came with garlic bread so I ordered cheese garlic bread as well and then it turned up and there was garlic bread on the plate so I got two lots of garlic bread awesome didn't eat it all obviously um maybe not obviously uh, but then I did get cake as well. I was sat there for a while, well, clearly, it's been like two hours, so. I was sat there for quite a while. The ladies were lovely, but I think they were feeling a bit sorry for me because I was on my own. They kept coming checking, did I need anything else? It was really sweet of them. They wouldn't normally do that because uh, it's proper like pub grub place, you order at the bar. Um, but they were really, really sweet and really lovely. So uh, it was nice. It was very, very chill and relaxed. I sat in one of the bay windows in the pub um, so I could watch the world go by because I like to do that. Yeah, it was nice. And then I did go on a little walk, not too far. I didn't get any footage of it because it wasn't that exciting. I didn't go like down to, there's like a church at the back of my house, which is lovely. It's really, really nice when I walk around. That's usually where I get footage from when I go for a walk, but I didn't go down there. I just literally like did a bit of a detour and took kind of a longer way home just to get a bit of a walk in. Um, but yeah, I nipped to the shop because I needed some to get some loo roll, but I also got some pretzels for the movie tonight and also the F1 so I can have something just a little bit to munch on while I'm watching that. But I did do some reading as well. I read all of Heartstopper Volume 1 while I was in the pub. I had a really good time with this. I just love this series. It's so sweet. And now that there's the adaptation as well, like obviously there are visuals in here. It's a comic, but the visuals are even more kind of brought to life now um especially with the people that play charlie and nick joe Locke, and also kit harrington i think no <laughs> kit harrington kit i know his kit his name his first name is kit but kit harrington is uh john snow <laughs> i'm sure of it kit connor yeah, Kit Harrington is Jon Snow. Kit Connor. You know nothing, Jon Snow. That's who I mean. I have Joe Locke and Kit Connor stuck in my head now, which, you know, is adorable. And also the girl that plays Tori. I fucking love Tori so much. Um, but yeah, 
I just love this, having a really good time. So I am excited to continue with this for the rest of the day. I do think it's gonna help perk me up, so that's great. Um, but what I am gonna try and do now is get some more balance back into my life a little bit and try and tidy the kitchen because it is a fucking shit tip. It has been uh, building up this week and uh, this is one of my biggest tells actually when I don't pick up on the fact that my mood is dipping that's one of my biggest tells because my kitchen ends up a mess. My house in general ends up a mess, but my kitchen more than anything because that's where like, you know, I pile all the rubbish on the end of the um, island, uh, ready to go to the bin, uh, but then pots pile up, washing piles up, all sorts. It all ends up in the kitchen. So I need to tidy up. I do have washing that needs to go away. Uh, I have pots that need washing, pots that need to go away, and stuff that needs to go in the recycling. So I think I'm going to do that, try and get some balance back, and also it will give me some strength for the rest of the day. I think it will help make me feel a bit better as well. It's not only one of my tells, but it's one of the biggest things that can bring me down when I am in a bit of a depressive episode because I don't like to look at it. I don't like my house to be in disarray too much. I mean, my house is lived in, so it's always a bit of a mess, but... I don't like my kitchen to be in disarray too much because it's one of the biggest rooms in the house. So uh, it's always a huge, it makes a huge impact on the house when it's in a mess. So I'm gonna go and do that. That will bring you along for the ride. Um, I, please do not judge me for the state of my kitchen. It is a real mess. Uh, this is probably the worst it's been in a while. So let's go and do that and get some balance back into my freaking life because i need it and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to move on to heart supper volume two okay so here's the state that my kitchen is in this is all clean washing it needs to go away this is all clean washing that's now dry this is the state of the side of my sink this is the state of my island we're not going to talk about it we're just going to deal with it let's go 75 years later don't feel anxious don't feel shame if there's a question it can't wait another day don't feel like it's all in vain i try to remember it ain't a race breathe There's an answer, it can't wait till another day Don't regret making mistakes There's no need, it's just a game Breathe out, it doesn't matter anyway Breathe in, it's about happiness in the air Take it slow, watch the road stop Driving myself
hello it is now 9 23 on sunday evening and i'm gonna wrap this up because i'm gonna do a bit of editing while i'm watching the f1 i don't know how much more i can show you to be perfectly honest of my day uh it's been i think very b-rolly but i'm happy with that i hope that the vlog turns out okay but i thought that i would wrap this up now so i can start editing uh, this vlog and also you know the week's vlog as well from final book support group and possibly get those up for you as soon as possible uh, but yeah I've ended up having a really good day today I wouldn't say that I'm back on top form at the end of the day but I'm feeling miles better than I was this morning so much better uh, my day has ended up consisting of the tarot cards that we pulled, Strength, Faith and Balance. I feel like I've had a really good balance today with my day. I went out, did some walking, I took myself out, I sound like a dog. And I did a bit of reading, I've watched some telly, so a nice balance between my two favourite things to do. Um, and I have tried with some friends today as well and I've been getting excited about whatever you want on as well in the Discord group. So a lot of balance going on here. I've had faith that the day is going to pick up and it has done. Oh, I also watched Thor as well. So I had a chat with my patrons. That was a good time. Um, and then strength. Uh, just in general, the strength to even get out of bed this morning was um you know this entire card in its entirety and to do this vlog so i'm really happy these cards were 100 percent listening to me today bloody hell were they listening to me the oracle stuff honestly can freak me out some days like when it nails it like this this is what this has done today proper listen to the fact that i was not having a good day um so i did take myself out for food i went for a walk uh which was lovely and then i binged all of that's the wrong way around <laughs> i binged all of heartstopper which i'm really really happy about five stars for the whole series obviously not that that was ever a doubt in my mind because i've read the first two now three times and the last two two times um i love this series so much it's adorable i did shed a couple of tears throughout volumes three and four and I just love it it's amazing i cannot wait for volume five i cannot wait for series two on netflix just love it absolutely love it it's really helped hurt me up today and then watching thor i was still a little bit down before we started watching thor but towards the end of thor i was feeling so much better um and now i'm watching the f1 which is fine a little bit boring not gonna lie but i'm gonna do a bit of editing whilst finishing off watching the f1 and then probably go to bed i may carry on with rider or i may just start one of the middle grades and get myself ahead for next week um so yeah i'm gonna go but i just wanted to wrap this vlog up and let you know that today worked out okay you know it's okay not to be okay and it's okay to have off days just don't let them control you and control your week or even control your day i mean if you decide you want to stay in bed all day and just have a really bad off day then go ahead and do it 100% but if there's even a little bit of inkling inside you that thinks you can get up and go outside do it go get yourself some fresh air drink some water stay hydrated and if that's all you do all day and then you go back to bed that's totally fine but if you get on with your shit I commend anybody who is going through a hard time however you choose to deal with it I commend you 100% you're surviving all of your bad days as well as your good days and just keep going because you're important and you're loved and we want you to stick around you know so yeah <laughs> that was a bit sappy but i hope you have enjoyed this vlog and i hope to see you in the next one bye for now